So if you can see it, you can chant along. Dharma Chetre, Kuru Chetre, Samaveta Yuyutsavaha, Mamaka Pandavas Chaiva, Kimaku Sanjaya. The blind king Dhritarashtra, sitting in his palace with his servant Sanjay, who had been blessed by Vyas with the mystic power of being able to see and hear at a distance, asked him, O Sanjay, after my sons and the sons of Pandu assembled in the place of pilgrimage at Kurukshetra, desiring to fight, what did they do? Sanjay then began to relate what was happening on the battlefield, where Lord Krishna would soon speak the Bhagavad Gita. Tatakshveta haya yukti mahati syandane stitao maravat pandavas chaiva divyao shankau padadmatahu as the opposing army stood ready to do battle, the great Bhishma loudly blew his conch shell to encourage Duryodhan and his warriors, and all the Kurus blew theirs. Then, on the Pandava's side, both Lord Krishna and Arjun, stationed on a great chariot drawn by white horses, sounded their transcendental conch shells. Ashochanan vashochastvam pragyabharangsha bhashasi katasunna katasungsha Arjun had been lamenting the imminent death of his relatives by his own hand. But Lord Krishna, the Supreme Guru, begins his instructions by chastising his disciple. While speaking learned words, you are mourning for what is, for what is not worthy of grief. Those who are wise lament neither for the living nor the dead. Why not lament for the body? Because it's just a covering for the eternal transmigrating soul. As the embodied soul continuously passes in this body, from childhood to youth to old age, the soul similarly passes into another body at death. A sober person is not bewildered by such a change. Hare Krishna. Chapter 4, text 2. Evam parampara praptam Imam Raja Shayogaduhu Sakale Neha Mahata Yogo Nashta Parantapa. This supreme science was thus received through the chain of disciplic succession, and the saintly kings understood it in that way. But in course of time, the succession was broken, and therefore the science as it is appears to be lost. The disciplic chain began with Krishna, who taught Brahma the supreme science, who taught it to Narada, who taught Vyas. Later, Lord Chaitanya appeared in the disciplic line and passed the knowledge on to his followers. Most prominent in recent times are Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Srila Gorkishor Das Babaji, Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur, and Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. 4.7 Yada Yada Dharmasya, Lani Bhavati Bharata, Abhyutanam Dharmasya, Tadatmanam Sujamyaham. Whenever and wherever there is decline in religious practice of descendant of Bharat and a predominant rise of irreligion, at that time I descend. Five thousand years ago, Sri Krishna descended among the Vrishni dynasty as the son of Vasudeva and Devaki, here offering prayers to him in Kangsa's dungeon. 4 9. Janmakarma chame divyam evam yo veti tatpataha chakvadeham punar janma. Naitimam eti sojana. One who knows in truth the transcendental nature of my appearance and activities does not, upon leaving the body, take his birth again in this material world, but attains my eternal abode, O Arjuna. Krishna takes birth in Mathura, but then is transferred to Vrindavan, where Nanda Maharaj performs his bathing ceremony as Brahmins chant auspicious mantras. One who can understand the mystery of how and why God appears in a human-like form and enacts such human-like pastimes will return to the kingdom of God after death. 4.11 Yeyatamam pabadyante tantatai vabhajamyaham mamavartmano vartante manushak partasarvashaha As all surrender unto me, I reward them accordingly. Everyone follows my path in all respects, O son of Pita. The Brahman Sudama was a dear friend of Krishna's and had surrendered utterly to him. Krishna responded by greeting his friend with the utmost love and respect and showering his blessings upon him. 7 7. 
Mattak Padatanam Nanyat Kinchadasti Dhananjaya Maisavmidam Protam Sutre Managana Iva O conqueror of wealth, there is no truth superior to me. Everything rests upon me as pearls are strung on a thread. Even Mahavishnu, who lies in the causal ocean emanating countless universes, is subordinate to Krishna, being an expansion of an expansion of his expansion. 8-9 Kavim Puranam Manushashitaram Anodaniyang Samanusmaredyaham Sabasadatta Ramachinta Rupam Adik Javanam Tamasak Parastat. One should meditate upon the Supreme Person as the one who knows everything, as he who is the oldest, who is the controller, who is smaller than the smallest, who is the maintainer of everything, who is beyond all material conception, who is inconceivable, and who is always a person. He is luminous like the sun, and he is transcendental beyond this material nature. 9.14 Satatam kirti yanto maam yatantascha dvidavataha namasyantascha maam bhaktya nitya yukta upasate Always chanting my glories, endeavoring with great determination, bowing down before me, the great souls perpetually worship me with devotion. Five hundred years ago, Lord Krishna came as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and with his associates, demonstrated how to achieve pure love of God by always chanting the holy name of Krishna, especially in the company of other devotees. 9.31 Chiplam bhavati dharmatma shasvachandim nagachati kaunteya patijanihi name bhakta panashyati Despite occasional impiety, the sadhu who worships me undeviatingly quickly becomes righteous and attains lasting peace. O son of Kunti, declare it boldly that my devotee never perishes. On the battlefield, Krishna broke his promise not to fight and picked up a chariot wheel to defend his devotee Arjun from Bhishma's attack. Thus he showed his determination to protect his devotee in all circumstances. 10.12 Param Brahma Param Dhamma Pavitram Paramam Bhavan Purusham Shasvatam Divyam Adidev Majam Vibhum. After hearing the four essential verses of the Gita, 10, 8 to 11, in which Krishna reveals himself to be the absolute truth, the source of all manifestations, Arjuna declares, You are the supreme personality of Godhead, the ultimate abode, the purest, the absolute truth. You are the eternal, transcendental, original person, the unborn, the greatest. 11.16 Aneka bahu dada bhaktra netam pasyami tvam sarvato nanta rupam nantang namadyan naponastha vadim pasyami vishve shada vishwarupa Struck with wonder, trembling in fright, Arjuna began to describe Krishna's revelation of his universal form. O Lord of the universe, O universal form, I see in your body many, many arms, bellies, mouths, and eyes, expanded everywhere, without limit. I see in you no end, no middle, and no beginning. 11.45 Adrishta purvam nishitos midrishtva Vayena chambyam vetitam manome Tadeva me darshaya deva rupam Pasida devi shachagannivasa after seeing your universal form, which I have never seen before, I am gladdened, but at the same time my mind is disturbed with fear. Therefore, please bestow your grace upon me and reveal again your form as the personality of Godhead, O Lord of Lords, O abode of the universe. Upon Arjuna's request, Krishna again showed him his original, supremely beautiful, two-handed form. With 15.1 Urdvamulamadakshakam ashratam prahuravyam Chandangsi yasya parnani yastam It is said that there is an imperishable banyan tree that has its roots upward and its branches down and whose leaves are the Vedic hymns. One who knows this tree is the knower of the Vedas. The upside down banyan tree is this material world where we are entangled due to our material desires. To escape and return to the all-blissful spiritual world, we must cut down this tree with a sword of detachment and then surrender to Lord Krishna as he prescribes in the Bhagavad Gita. 
59. Shottam chakshu sparsanangcha, rasanang granam evacha, adhishtayam anaschayam, vishayanupasevati. After leaving one gross body at death, the living entity obtains another. With a certain type of ear, eye, tongue, nose, and sense of touch, all grouped about the mind, he thus enjoys a particular set of sense objects. Attachment to enjoying sense objects has forced us to suffer the pangs of birth, old age, disease, and death since time immemorial, and will continue to do so until we become Krishna conscious. 1515. I am seated in everyone's heart, and from me come remembrance, knowledge, and forgetfulness. By all the Vedas, I am to be known. Indeed, I am the compiler of Vedanta, and I am the knower of the Vedas. The all-knowing supersoul and expansion of Krishna will help us come to him by providing us with the inspiration and intelligence to approach a bona fide spiritual master. Or he will help us avoid him by providing us with the intelligence to keep, uh, keep trying to enjoy in the material world. The choice is ours. 1855. One can understand me as I am, as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, only by devotional service. And when one is in full consciousness of me by such devotion, he can enter into the kingdom of God. The great saints Rupa and Sanatana Goswamis, the prime followers of Lord Chaitanya, understood Krishna because of their pure devotion to him, and they left an immense treasury of writings for our transcendental edification. 1865. Always think of me, become my devotee, worship me, and offer your homage unto me. Thus you will come to me without fail. I promise you this because you are my very dear friend. This is Krishna's most confidential instruction in the Bhagavad Gita. If we take it to heart and act on it, he will pour his blessings upon us. 1866. Abandon all varieties of religion and just surrender unto me. I shall deliver you from all sinful reactions. Do not fear. All of the Bhagavad Gita's instructions culminate in this teaching. There is nothing more we need to do but surrender to Lord Krishna and his pure representatives. Serve him and learn to love him. 1878 Wherever there is Krishna, the master of all mystics, and wherever there is Arjun, the supreme archer, there will also certainly be opulence, victory, extraordinary power, and morality. That is my opinion. Spoken by Sanjay. Krishna's teachings in the Bhagavad Gita, which are non-different from him, are all auspicious for humanity. We can make our lives successful by becoming his instruments in living and spreading those teachings. All glory to Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Hari Hari Bo. That's our presentation. And now we have a news from our...